Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out another tutorial. So today's tutorial is a crochet. Um, this is going to be a lazy girl version, you guys, um, with some tried and true hair that I absolutely love and have been using for years. Um, this braid pattern is my typical invisible crochet braid pattern um, for when I do loose curly hair crochet. I use a different invisible braid pattern for when I'm using like locks or passion twist this one is for curly loose hair crochet so I always keep a little bit of leave out for my own natural hair and then I braid six cornrows going straight back with a middle part this allows you to have three different um, parting options once you finish your crochet um, actually you can have even more than that with this um, braid pattern so you're gonna section off your hair um, in the middle and then you're going to braid three cornrows going straight back and then you're going to braid one cornrow going straight up and I sort of braid it going straight up and then I turn it so that it is going to the back. So by the end of one half of your head you're going to have your leave out section in the front your three cornrows at the top and then your cornrow that's going straight up and to the back and then you're going to repeat that on the other side. Once you're done with that, you're going to braid two cornrows going across the back of your head, across the nape of your neck, and then you're going to start braiding braids just going straight down. Um, these two braids going across just help to take the tension off the nape of your neck, okay? And it also allows you not to overly fill the back of your head, and I'll show you why once I start um, putting in the curly hair. Now it's time to start the cornrows in the back that are going straight back. You want to make sure that you make the cornrow um, sort of like in the middle of your middle part because you don't want that part that's in the middle to just continue all the way to the nape of your neck. You want to kind of break where that middle part is um, and create a new cornrow section because it just creates a more seamless transition to the back of your head if that you know, that cornrow, I don't know how to say, it, if that part isn't going all the way to the nape of your neck. I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't know if it does. I'm terrible at explaining braid patterns, but I hope that makes sense. And then you want to just incorporate those other braids into cornrows going straight down. Those can be as big or as small as you want them to be. The hair that I'm using today is the Lulu Tress in two different cups two different curl patterns. It's the Kinky 4B and the Coily 3C. These are both two times and they're both in the color number four, which is my absolute favorite um, color to crochet into my hair. Um, it's my favorite color for wigs too. And um, these are pre-separated and pre-looped. They're super easy to work with. I've been working with this hair, like I said, for years. I used to use this hair when I was making wigs back in the day. Um, so I just wanted to show you here, you definitely want to leave a lot of space and you don't want to crochet into that second cornrow. Okay, so leave that second cornrow open and just create a lot of space in between where you're placing the cornrows. You also want to pull down that area that's threaded together. You don't necessarily need to take that threaded area out, but you do want to pull it down enough to get your finger into that loop so that you can more easily crochet the hair in. Continue to crochet the hair in very, very spaced out because this hair is super full and voluminous. It doesn't take a lot of pieces to give you a lot of fullness, okay? So you can see how spacey and gappy I am installing this hair, but I promise you in the end, it comes together perfectly fine. Now, I know everyone's going to ask me, well, where did you install the Kinky 4B and where did you do the Coily 3C? There was absolutely absolutely no rhyme or reason to where I did them. I just made sure that I installed the same amount of each one. So the back of my hair is two full packs, one of the Curly 3C and one of the Kinky 4B. 
So you guys, I got super busy and this is literally two days later. I literally was running around DC with half of my hair crocheted. Yes, my whole entire braid pattern was like showing, but I had so much to do, you guys. I didn't have time to crochet my hair. So what I did for the front was to just loose those pre-separated sections. I cut that loop and, excuse me, not the loop. I cut that thread that was holding it together and just separated the pieces. As you can see, they separate so nicely and so easily into super, super small pieces. It just makes it so easy to work with in the end. So I just wanted to show you guys how the hair is blending and mixing together. I love these two curl patterns together. They look so 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 good and so natural um if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you probably know that i love to blend two different textures and curl patterns together i absolutely adore the way that it turns out it just gives the hair so much more texture so much more of a natural look and a natural flair so if you ever see two different curl patterns that you feel will go together um definitely try it out and like i said i've been using these two together for years and they look great. So I started um, applying the installing the hair in the front. I totally forgot you guys to start using the invisible knot technique in the front. So I literally was just using the regular one knot technique in the front and I was super happy with the way it turned out anyway you guys. It's not like super invisible because I didn't use the invisible knot technique because um, I just spaced out and forgot. I had so much on my mind but I actually like the way the hair came out so I still wanted to show you guys this tutorial. So at the top, I just started using really small pieces. I um, think I was using two of the pieces, the pre-separated pieces together. And um, like I said, I wasn't even doing the invisible knot technique, but it still come out, came out looking really, really nice and really natural. Um, I kind of teased the hair a little bit just with my fingers. I didn't use um, anything else to tease the hair out because this hair is really fluffy and bouncy and big. So it's just not necessary. I didn't feel like. Um, and I just, this is a lazy girl crochet. I just didn't feel like, you know, doing all that. Sometimes you just don't have the time or energy. And if you want a style that looks great when you don't have the time or energy, then you might want to look into this hair sit because it's pretty fire. So you guys, this is the finished look, finally done. And these front pieces always drive me nuts on a curly crochet. You have got to trim those front pieces. Otherwise, you will be out here looking like Shaggy the dog. Um, so if nothing else, just trim it into face framing layers around your face. And um, you know, if you can't see the back or figure out what to do with the back, just at least trim those long pieces in the front. That is like my pet peeve when I see crochet long in the front like that. So just give yourself a good trim, a bomb haircut. I know you guys always ask me for a crochet haircutting tutorial in depth. That is coming, you guys. I'm definitely going to do that for you all. Um, just bear with me. <laughs> So you guys, I did the other side off camera. I threw some makeup on. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my leave out. Um, just brush it lightly to blend it in or just comb it lightly to blend it in. And that's literally all I did. 
So at the end of the tutorial, I am going to show you what it looks like with um, your baby hairs gel down. But I know that everyone doesn't like their baby hairs gel. They just like their natural hair. So I'm definitely showing you both options with just your natural hair popping and with your baby hairs laid, okay? So again, you've got so many options in terms of styling this hair. You can part it in three different places. You can wear it half up, half down. You can wear it with two ponytails. You can wear it all up. It's just super versatile, and that's why I love this braid pattern. Even when you feel like being lazy and not putting a whole lot of time, if you use this braid pattern, you will still have a super versatile and super natural looking crochet with not a lot of effort and time. You guys so definitely get into this braid pattern because it's definitely fire <laughs> So I know everyone's going to ask me what type of edge control did I use. I'm not at liberty to say yet. Um, soon enough, I will be able to let you know which edge control I'm using. So this is the final result, you guys. I'm super duper happy with this um, outcome. I feel like this hair looks super cute and so wearable. I've been wearing it for several days now, and I'm super happy with it. Um, let me know what you guys think of this um, curly hair. I absolutely love it. You can find it in your local beauty supply store. If you're looking to purchase online, I will leave links down below so you can definitely order it online if you can't find it in your local store. I just want to take the time to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you guys for sharing these videos and continuing to watch and rock with me. It does not go unnoticed and I appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Share it with a crochet lover. Share this video with your mama. Peace.